unplug the atom to prevent getting shocks or injury during the repair. You will need a drill, impact driver or screwdriver, a small flathead, side cutters or scissors. A good stable way to work on the atom is to remove the filter housing. This can be done by twisting it anti-clockwise. Go along the power lead and check there are no splits or kinks in the power lead. Also check the pins are straight on the plug. Then remove the four screws that are located around the handle. Use the picture as a reference. Once the four screws have been removed, carefully pull the top cap off and visually check the power wires for a burn, split or kink. If the power lead needs to be replaced, use a small flathead screwdriver and undo the grub screws holding the live and neutral wires. Live is brown, neutral is blue. Once an internal wire inspection has been done, you can remove the outer cover. You do this by undoing the six screws around the base. Use the picture for a reference. When lifting the cover off, be careful not to pull the wires leading to the motor. Remove the spacer cup from the top of the motor. This can come in either orange or blue. Once the cover has been removed, check the wires leading to the motor for any damage. Start by cutting the cable tie in the picture. Take caution when cutting the cable tie as you could cut a wire. The motor wires are grey. These are removed by using a small flathead and pushing down on the end of the clip. This releases the clip so you can lightly pull them off. Once the motor wires are unclipped, you can move the outer cover out of the way. Pull the grey filter off by feeding the motor wires back through the hole they are coming through. To remove the cone shaped shroud around the motor, undo the four screws. Use the picture as a reference. Once the screws are out, take caution in lifting the shroud off. Once the shroud is off, you can lift the motor off from the base. Pull the white filter off from around the motor. You will need to take the vac seals off the old motor to use on the new one. These dampen the vibrations caused by the motors. Check these are clean and not deformed. Remove the old motor wires by simply giving them a swift tug. On the new motor, the wires will just push straight into the same place they came from on the old motor. It does not matter which wire goes into which clip. Push the vac seals back on the top and bottom of the new motor. Check there is no dirt or deformation, as this can affect the performance. Place the new motor back into the base. Make sure it is sitting flat. Push the motor filter back around the new motor. Line the shroud up with the holes and screw it down. Feed the motor wires through one of the holes on the filter and push the filter down around the motor. Place the spacer cup onto the top of the motor. This spacer stops the motor wires getting damaged. This funnels the hot air out of the machine, preventing it from overheating. Push the motor wires back onto the switch. It does not matter which wire is on which side. The wires will click when they are locked in, just give them a light pull to ensure that they are locked in. Carefully put the outer casing back on, ensuring you do not knock over the spacer cup. Once all the screws are back on and you are confident all the wires are securely locked in, plug the atom in and run the machine. Once the machine has been tested and is working properly, you can reinstall the filter housing. You can do this by twisting it clockwise. For any further assistance, don't be afraid to give us a call or drop us an email. We'd be more than happy to help.